Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Emma. This is my first ever allotment plot and I'm just documenting it for YouTube. Um, it's just me and Alice today at the plot and we're just here to water everything really and uh, make sure it doesn't die. Um, believe it or not, we are actually forecast frost uh, tomorrow night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'm gonna have to cover everything up at some point, but not today, I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, that's pretty much all we're gonna do to be honest. Um, because it's such a nice day. We just wanted to get out, didn't we, Ali? Yep. Just wanted to get out in the peace and quiet. Right, Ali, I've got something really exciting to show you. Come with me. Yeah. Come with me. It's what I found yesterday at the plot. Look at this. <gasps> it's a pea. Oh my god. It's a pea. Oh my god. It's our, I know. It's our first pea. Also, what's this? Snails. Snails and slugs. Uh oh. Do you know where? Worming their way up trying to get my peas. Oh no, that's a disaster. I can just. Oh no, I don't want slugs and snails around these peas. They've left them alone till now. What about the new baby ones? Isn't they the ones that they're after? Oh yeah, they have. Oh, they've nibbled them. I don't think they've been this side yet. Oh crap, that's annoying. Up until now, the uh, peas have kind of been safe from slugs and snails and everything, really. Nothing's really bothered them too much, but now, now they're onto them. Oh no, look, they've been back here again as well. Oh God. Oh, that's all this one needs. I've just transplanted them. Oh, for God's sakes. No. Wow. <laughs> See that bird then? <laughs> oh, the battle has begun, Alice. The battle of the slugs has begun. And we are not prepared. We knew this was coming, and we were not prepared. Who does that remind you of? <laughs> yeah. The government. The oh, no. Oh, no. We've been here too. Completely undeterred by the flipping eggs. Oh, God. Not here. Oh, that looks dead, doesn't it? I better pull that one off. Can't see any damage in here, but look how big. Look how big the spinach is getting. It's huge. It's doing really well now. I wonder if I have to actually thin it a little bit more than that, because that one's sort of being overshadowed now. But wow. Spinach is doing really well. I re sowed some more carrots in these holes here. I noticed that there were some gaps in the carrots. So I've sort of sown some new ones in the gaps. So I'm hoping they come up fairly quickly, but the carrots are looking quite good. Looking quite strong, I think. All oh, this is looking fine. I also I put some new chard in and I put a few more beetroots in as well over there, just to make sure that we've got enough coming up. Also, there's a really random carrot in the spinach. I don't know if you can see in there. So I'm not sure how that ended up in there. But I'll leave him alone because he's happy. That's the point. What are you doing? Oh right, okay. I'll come and find it. Let's check on the pond plants. These are the new ones that I planted. Um, oh, some of them are looking better than others. I have to admit. Um, the iris looks okay. This one is the one I actually thought was fine, and it's actually the one that's doing the worst. I think. That shows you what I know about it. That one seems to be coming back to life because you can see that they're kind of sticking up a bit. Oh, sorry, this one. Forget me not's doing really well because there's some more flowers on him. I wonder if anything's in my frog house. I wonder if anything's in there. Let me just stick the camera and have a look. I don't think so. I think it's quite good though. It's quite covered, quite sheltered. Something might want to go in there. A mouse or something. I don't know. I don't bloody know. I don't bloody know, mouse, frog, rabbit, it's probably too small for a rabbit, I don't know, something, something might like to go in there. It's taken me five trips to the water 
thing to fill up my watering can just to water these beds and I haven't even done the spring but the summer bulbs I've just basically done anything that's tiny it's taken me five trips just to do that and I still need to go back and get some more to fill up the pond as well so I really need to come up with like a more permanent water situation watering situation I need Dave to put some guttering on my shed and have like a water thing on my plot um, but in the meantime what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a hose hose pipe from um, b and I think and um, use that um, but I'm absolutely knackered it's just literally I've literally just done the living bed the pumpkins the zinnias sunflowers the peas the lettuce which is really coming up I'll show you in a minute um, and the strawberries and the rocket literally just done that it's taken me five cans of water just to do that so I'm gonna have a break now because <laughs> I'm knackered you join me again guys sitting by the pond waiting for a bloody bird to take a bath so I can watch him take a bath riveting content this time I put some bread down around the pond which I know you're not supposed to feed birds I haven't got anything else and so I gave him a bit of my sandwich in the hope to lure him into the pond so I can film him having a bath not cooperating again bloody birds apparently Alice just saw two in the pond two don't come down for me wonder why Hello. Yes, everyone has this weird special connection with nature except me. It doesn't seem to like me. I don't know why. Maybe because I try and kill it all the time. I moan about it. Maybe it can sense it. <whistles> I'm going to hang some bird feeders. I don't know if I told you in my last vlog, but my neighbour wants to cut the tree down. I'm sure I did moan about it a little bit. I, think, I, I don't know. I haven't edited that vlog yet. I'm sure I was talking really quietly. But um, she wants to cut this tree down and I've decided I now like the birds. I do like birds. I want to buy a bird watching book because we've got some really nice pretty birds around here and I want to hang bird feeders. I think there's a few branches up here that I can sort of hang them from which I think would be really nice. And maybe I can attract some birds. And maybe the birds will eat the slugs and snails. Alright, we need birds and we need frogs. Birds and frogs, birds and frogs. Got a frog house now. I don't know if that counts. I think it does. I'm not sure. Um, birds and frogs. stuff that I've got because obviously if there is a frost most of what I've planted out is quite tender and it's going to die so I've got the fleece which I can cut sort that out um, and then I've got all these things here so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round and just cover stuff and just see what it looks like when it's covered that's it are you okay yeah I'm going to test it and see make sure we've got enough coverage today I think that works all right pumpkins I'm thinking fit these under here like that I don't know if you can fit in there I'm gonna kill them if I do that sort of I don't know no, I think I can squeeze them in that'll do good it's all right I don't think any of that needs covering because that is carrot, spinach, chard and beetroot and that can tolerate frost I think. I think that's all okay for frost and I think the summer bulbs must be okay for frost because they've been out since like February so they must be. I know that you can't get uh, strawberry flowers need covering. Rocket I think is fine, that, that coat. I think there's a dead snail in here guys. Oh, what's that? I think that's a dead snail. Oh, I don't really want to touch it. It was a slug, I think. I think that's a dead slug. I think I've got one, guys, unintentionally. Pond of Doom took care of it for me. That's good news. That's one down. 50 million to go. 
This stuff's dead, isn't it? That's dead. I don't know. I don't bloody know. I didn't read the instructions. I really should have. Oh well. Whatever survives, survives. Right guys, absolute sweating now. All I've done is water and wander around the plot and just rake up a little bit and absolute sweating. So I'm gonna love you and leave you there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlogs. If you're enjoying the daily vlogs, do give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel if you're new or if you're a regular viewer and you're not subscribed. And I will see you tomorrow in my next vlog. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.